Hey, what's up? It's Hobart. Welcome to Android University, and I figured I'd give you a little video and show you the brand new Android 4.2 camera. Uh, this was released a couple of weeks ago, and it's been working its way around to different ROMs on the Samsung Galaxy S3. Uh, so I figured I'd give you a little peek at what it looks like and how it all works. So I'm running Beans, build number three right now for the Samsung Galaxy S3. This is Jelly Bean. Uh, and the first thing that you're going to need to do, of course, is get the file. Now, you can use uh, what I did is just use Google and I googled uh, Android 4.2 camera and found an uh, article on Droid Life. This is from Droid Life from uh, like October 31st so uh, it's a couple of weeks old but this is the camera zip that I did use here you can see the 4.2 camera zip right there I downloaded that one to my SD card and then I just flashed it you don't have to wipe anything just go ahead and flash it and it does not replace your current camera it will actually add to it so you'll have two cameras and you'll have two galleries okay so uh, I'll show you real quick what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into Clockwork Command Recovery or TWRP depending on what you have Do, 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 do. It's pretty sweet. It works pretty well. Uh, if you are using Beans build number three, he did forget some libs, uh, so the Photosphere feature does not work, but don't worry. By using this zip file and flashing over the top of it, it makes it all work just fine. So uh, that's one thing if you're using Beans build number three. Otherwise, you can just flash it in recovery, and uh, it should add to your camera and add you another gallery as well. you got to be on Jelly Bean, though, Android 4.1. And as we get into recovery here, of course, you're going to want to find the uh, download that you just uh, downloaded, the zip file. So we're going to go to uh, install. We're going to look on here. I have Android 4.2 cameras. You can see right there on my external SD card. You'll click on it, swipe to flash it. Once it's all flashed and ready to go, you just reboot your system and your camera and your new gallery should be there. Now, once we boot up here, I'll show you some of the uh, different features in the 4.2 camera. Uh, I love it. I hope that uh, Samsung and Motorola and all of them don't do too much to the camera because it's really nice not having borders and being able to see the entire screen. And you know, with the new 4.2 camera, you're able to do that. The Photosphere works about 80 to 90 percent as long as you take your time and uh, work with it. You should get a pretty good uh, result from it. I'll show you one that I did in my in my garage yesterday. Um, and there's a feature that a lot of people in the videos that I've seen haven't really shown. So uh, this is what uh, this is actually the Nexus 4 wallpaper. I put this on my phone. Uh, but as we go into the uh, camera, we'll see we have two different cameras here. This is the new icon for it. We'll click on it and I'll show you what the brand new Android 4.2 camera looks like. Now you see what I was talking about where there is no uh, borders on it. I get the full screen. I can see what I'm doing. You have this new feature in the middle here where you can actually touch it to focus. Okay. And you can also touch the select as well. So you can touch and go to your, to your different uh, settings for your flash. You can go here and switch around to the camera that's facing me. you got your settings over here, and this is all done by just dragging your finger across it. You can have your different uh, brightness settings as well. Um, but that's the new cool feature. Plus, uh, you do have your video, which works great. You have your panoramic, which everybody's used before. And then you have the new Photosphere feature. There it goes. Now, the way that it works is, is you're going to just take pictures uh, by following the blue dot. And I, in my opinion, the blue dot picture takes a little bit quicker than I'd like it to. I'd like to get set up a little bit better, and maybe that's something that will be on the official release or somebody will tweak. But uh, this is the way it looks, and how it works is I'll just go up to the blue dot. The first one's slow. But after that, it starts to get fast. And as you can see, I've, I've, I've taken a few pictures so far, and it will actually stitch together the photos that you take. And you can do this up on the ceiling, down on the floor, and a 360 view all the way around you. Now, uh, I'll show you one that I did yesterday in my garage. Now, I've seen a few videos showing this feature, and they go, okay, here you go. This is the picture that I got. It's an all-around view. But that's not exactly it. If you touch this globe feature here, it actually brings you into the picture. So you can maneuver around the picture by yourself, look up, look down, left and right, as far as your picture goes, okay? So I, I've seen a few videos, and they stop at this part right here, 
and they say, here you go, this is the picture from Photosphere. No, you need to touch this globe, and that will allow you to get inside your picture. And as you, as you can see, the door frame's a little messed up on there, uh, and there's a little bit of cloud here in the middle of the picture. But other than that, it came out pretty darn good uh, for the Photosphere feature. So uh, that's the Photosphere feature on the brand new camera. Of course, you can swipe to get to your camera, which I think is pretty cool. Um, and that's pretty much it. Now, the new gallery that you have, Looks like this. Nothing special. Uh, it's a little bit different. It doesn't. It doesn't do the spiral like the uh, Note 2 gallery does. Uh, but this is the new AOSP. Now you have to have this gallery in order to see these Photosphere p pictures. Okay. I know you can do it on Google Plus as well, but uh, you cannot use the regular gallery that comes with these Jelly Bean builds that are on 4.1. Uh, you will just get this picture and that's it. You will not be able to touch the globe and actually get inside the picture and move around, okay? So that is the uh, brand new gallery and the brand new 4.2 camera. Again, you can get the uh, link in the description. I'll put it in there. Or you can just go to this Droid Life article that I found. I just typed in Android 4.2 camera Droid Life and this uh, article came up. You're going to want to get this camera zip right here. Oop. The camera zip that's right there. Uh, that is for the Galaxy Nexus, but it seems to work really well and really good on my phone and uh, others so far. So uh, that's it for me. Don't forget to check out some of my other Android videos. I've got a bunch of ROM reviews from the latest and greatest for your Samsung Galaxy S3. Uh, go check them out at Android University, all one word. And give me some likes, some comments. It helps out more than you know. And check me out on XDA and Roots Wiki as well. All right. For, my name is Hobart for Android University. Have a great day and enjoy the new 4.2 camera.